Shakar Vaya Evi Pradhan Leave a load of guilt and shame Then the hands of Jesus touch me And now I'm no longer the same He touched me Oh, He touched me And oh, what joy That plus my soul Something happened And now I know He touched me And made me He made me whole Hallelujah, bless the Lord. My name is Minister Lisa Simmons. And the song says, He touched me. There are words in there that I was shackled by a heavy load. Of, I was shackled by a burden. I was underneath so much that it took the hand of Jesus to touch me and to lift these burdens off of me. And because he saw fit to touch me, because he saw fit to reach down and to lift these burdens off of me, because I gave him that opportunity, I'm no longer the same. I'm a different person. And I think and I praise God because that is what total transformation, the journey of emerging from sister to sister is about. It is about a vision that the Lord gave me, about a vision that he imparted into my spirit. It's a vision that God himself is the CEO. And I say that because I promise God that every step that I take will be ordered by him. I refuse to walk in this territory without him because I understand that there are so many hurting women or hurting people in general that are out there and that I know that it would take a healing hand of God to transform their lives. I know this because he did it for me. I was that sister. I was that sister who was burdened by the cares of life. I was that sister who was walking in the spirit of alcoholism. I was that sister who couldn't take care of her ch children because she was so strung out so many times. I was that sister. But I know a God who can take a life and he can totally transform it. And this is what I want to do. The purpose of the mission to reach out to sisters everywhere. It doesn't matter who you are or where you're from or what you've done or even what you are doing. But our mission is to inject into the hearts of women that you are somebody, that you are important to God, that your life circumstances don't matter to God because God loves you right where you are. It is you that is on his mind. And I want to be able to see women who seem to have lost their way in life and those who, for whatever reason, they seem to have given up on life and sometimes they feel like life is just useless, that it's hopeless, that I might as well just be satisfied right where I am. That there's no use in even trying because this is who I am, this is who I'll ever be. I want to be able to see these women who seem to have lost their way seem to have lost their identity, I want to see them restored, and I want to see them renewed, and I want to see them achieving their full pot potential. I want to be, a, be instrumental in unblocking the positive energy that lies within them. 
So my prayer is God use me to show somebody the way back to you. Allow me, Father, to be your hands, to be your eyes, to be your ears, to be your mouthpiece. Allow me, here I am, Father, use me in whatever capacity that you can use me in. Here I am. Allow me to pour back into somebody else the spiritual empowerment that has been poured into me. And that's what emerging from sister to sister is all about. It's about reaching out to others and pouring into their lives. And it's about watching individuals as they begin to believe and as they begin to accept the word and accept what we are pouring into them, watching them transform, watching their behavior change, watching them begin to think differently and to walk differently and to realize that I am somebody, that there is more to me than what society has said about me, that I can be all that I can be, that I don't have to stay right where I am, but that I can rise up. And I want to see this. I want to be able to watch this as God, as He performs a total transformation in their lives. And watch them as they begin to no longer just exist, but to exist with a purpose. John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him will be saved and will gain everlasting or eternal life. But, you know, I say to you that eternal life doesn't begin when you get to heaven. But eternal life begins right here. It begins right where you are. All it takes is a matter of believing that He is. Because first we have to believe that He is real, that He is God, that He does love us, that He can and He will transform us, and that He does want us to be prosperous in this life. First we must believe that He is. And I promise you that if you would just give him a chance, if you would just allow God to prove himself to you, because he said prove me, he said try me, try me, if we just allow him, I guarantee you that you will begin to walk in victory, that you will begin to see things change, your life circumstances, your life situations. Oh God, I, I, you will see your life just come up. Transform right before your very eyes. No longer ashes. Thank God for that. Because I know that he is a God that is able. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray right now. Father, I would like to stand in the gap for those, Lord, who seem to have lost their way, Father. Lord, for those, God, who seem to don't know which direction to go in, Father. God, I like to stand in the gap, Lord, and I like to approach your throne of grace on their behalf, Father. God, I'm asking you that you open doors, Lord, that as of this moment, Father, that you begin transforming their lives, Father. Lord, that you allow them to see their, your glory, Lord. Lord, wrap your arms of love and protection around them, Lord, and let them Feel the love, Lord. Let them know that you are real and that you are God and that you are still in the miracle business, Lord. Let them know, God, that you are still a problem solver and you are still a way maker, that there is no problem too hard for you, Lord, and there is no problem that you cannot solve, Lord. God, I would like for, Lord, and I'm asking you, Lord, that you go and that you mend some broken hearts, Lord. Oh, God, that you transform 